Hi, kindergartners. You know the routine. I know this is our new morning job board, so make sure to press pause, write in your two Stretchy the Snake words that we're gonna sound out together, and then here's your Stretchy the Snake word that you're going to need to put in a sentence. I'm gonna read you my sentence in a moment, but you're gonna to have to use this word in a sentence. All right, I'm ready to start sounding it out. This is a B, not a D. B, M, bam, bam, like I heard a big loud bam. All right, next word, s, I, x, six, six. Ooh, like I am six years old. Some of you are already six. All right, now the word that we're gonna use in a sentence. L, e, t, let. Like I let you do something. Here is my sentence. You're gonna create your own sentence. He let me play ball. End mark. I made sure I started my sentence with an uppercase letter. I ended with an end mark. I made sure I had spaces between my words and all lowercase letters. You make sure to practice the same good writing on your paper. And then remember, down below are extra lines. Go back and practice your star words that we've been learning and your letters. So I practice R, A, R, E, R from last week. And I also practice lowercase e and uppercase e from last week. Okay, so once you're done with that, remember you press pause and you do your sentence. On the back, I'm going to give you a number today. You can practice writing your numbers and I'm gonna have you build the number 14 today. So I want you to think 14 is 110 and four more. So I'm gonna remember 110, I'm gonna fill up my first 10 frame because my brain knows that if I fill it up, that's 10. So there's 10 and then 14, we need four more. So I'm gonna do one, two, three, four. So I have 10 and four more, and that should be 14. I'm gonna go back and double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, yay! All right, make sure you build 14. You also can practice building other numbers. When you're done with your reading, it's time to practice our letter of the week, which is F. So I need you to go grab your handwriting paper. You can either turn your board back over and write on this side or get your handwriting paper. I'm gonna use my handwriting paper because this way I can practice it on the big side and then turn it over and use the little side for my other part of practicing. All right, I am not going to need the warm line this week <clears throat> for the letter F, okay? Uppercase F is going to be really easy, kindergartners. It's exactly like last week for uppercase E, but we don't fly across the lines three times, just two. Let me show you what I mean. Find the skyline, go skyline, grass line, pick up, and then I'm gonna go back, fly across the sky, and fly across the plane line. Uppercase F, I'm gonna do it one more time because that one's an easy one. I'm gonna go skyline to grass line, pick up, fly across the skyline, fly across the plane line. All right, <clears throat> now I'm gonna practice lowercase f and teach you how to write that letter. That one's a little trickier than uppercase f. <clears throat> Just like uppercase, we will not need the worm line for lowercase f. So we are going to go up to the plane line and then I'm gonna have yeah. you Stop and go down just a little bit because we're gonna end up going back up, hook over, and back down. So I'm gonna find my plane line. Skyline. Skyline, sorry, skyline. Drop down, and then I'm gonna go up, curve around, and go straight back down to the grass line. And then like I'm going- Like a candy cane. Yep, yeah, like a candy cane or a hook. And then I'm gonna fly across the plane line. So let's try it again. I'm gonna go up to the skyline. I'm gonna drop down a little bit, and then I'm going to go 
up, curve around, touch the sky, come back all the way down to the grass line, and then fly across the plane line. Let's try it one more time on the big side. I'm gonna find the sky line, I'm gonna drop down a little bit, and then I'm gonna go up, curve around, touch the sky, come back down, and land on the grass, and then I'm gonna go back up to the plane line and fly across the plane line. So it's kind of like a hook or a candy cane and then fly across the plane line. Okay, kindergartners, I'm gonna turn it over and now I'm gonna practice on the small lines. All right, I'm gonna get rid of the worm line because we won't need that. Uppercase F is easy. Remember, straight line down, fly across the sky, fly across the plane, straight line down, fly across the sky, fly across the plane line. Now on the next line, I'm gonna do some lowercase f's. I'm gonna have to really focus. Skyline, drop down, curve up, go all the way back down, and then fly across the plane line. Ooh, that one's not my best one, let's see if we can do it. Skyline, come drop down, go back around, and then fly across the sky. Right, let me see if I can do a better one. This is why I'm gonna have to practice it. That curve and hook is a little tricky. Plane line, I'm gonna go up, back down, and fly across the plane. Should you start at the grass or start towards the top? Nope, remember kindergartners, we don't start from the bottom. We always start from the top, top, top. So I don't wanna see you guys going like this, going like this. You make sure these don't touch very much. Make sure that you start from the sky, come down just a little bit and go up like a candy cane or a hook and then fly across the plane line. Make sure you practice on the whole side so that you can get really good at making the letter F, lowercase and uppercase. Challenge time. If you find your wonders, unit book five, go to the page that you see here and instead of reading the words at the bottom today, you're going to look at the pictures and count how many syllables are in each word, clap them out, take a video of yourself counting the syllables in hat, hammer, hay, chicken, horse, and helicopter to be entered in our drawing this week.